YouTube, my name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Alright folks, giving you the spoiler warning right now if you want to tap out, although, let's be frank guys, we're going to learn everything about Guardian Games probably today, if not tomorrow, when the This Week at Bungie comes out. So, giving you the spoiler warning now because a ton of stuff leaked out, and even one of Bungie's official pages updated with Guardian Games information. And one of the weirdest things on the official page is the storage requirements, and when I saw saw it, I was like, well, that's a pretty big install, and maybe they're sneaking in spar racing, because when you see some of the images I'm going to show you, you might think, well, these suits kind of look like spar racing type suits. Okay, so you tapped out if you don't want to have any spoilers, and we can start getting into things now. Yeah, um, we've been going back and forth on the channel member Discord. If you'd like to become a member, uh, click the link in the description, plug, plug. But we've been going back and forth looking at these huge uh, install requirements for PlayStation 5, Xbox, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Steam, and they're huge. But Sneaker Flip, channel member, longtime channel member, says that, you know what, that's probably more than likely just the well what you needed well it's what you needed for beyond light so when i first saw that i was like whoa that's got to be spar racing or something they're dropping on us or some new maps or something but i think it's just well it just means the storage requirements are going to be that you need to have like the base game dlcs etc anyway so we're going to get into the video now if you enjoy it hit that like button leave me a comment for the lovely youtube algorithm and let's get into it but the weird thing is is guardian games is free for all players so why would they need these huge downloads and we'll get to that when we get to the help section that is already available on bungie.net but on the roadmap it does say yeah guardian games starts april 20th which will be next tuesday i'll be streaming it live right here on youtube and by the way guys you crushed it this week with regards to stream well actually every stream on tuesday i really really appreciate the support guys but i'll be streaming it next tuesday when it kicks off and we'll go through everything so all the things i'm going to show you and also go over comes from josh hunt over over on Twitter. I was pinged by him from uh, Destiny News Com over on Twitter. I will link him in the description. Uh, Josh has a pretty cool website, or um, I should say app actually, uh, that's called ghostoverlay.com. I'm going to link that also in the description. Go check it out. When you go to the website, it's like a pretty cool app that you can download that tracks all of your bounties and triumphs and things like that. But he started a thread with basically what the main page is going. You know how we always have an information page whenever a new event kicks off well we're gonna go through all the information stuff from the information page that's redundant Sean we're gonna go through the information from the information page and then also uh, what you need to know from the actual Bungie page that went live early because when you go to the actual bungie.net slash guardian games I think it's 2021 uh, I got it pulled up. Yeah, it's just, well, season slash events, Guardian Games. Uh, nothing shows up there just yet. It's just blank. Something that did leak out earlier, which I discussed, was, well, this image right here that came from Destiny News Com, which kind of goes over a few different things here. So Guardian Games strikes. So we have Hunters, Warlocks, and Titans. And for each one, you know, Hunters band together to take on Vanguard Strikes. Same thing for Warlocks and Titans. But we have Bronze, Silver, and Gold. So for Bronze, melee and grenade abilities deal more damage and recharge much faster. Elemental damage is increased from Guardian sources. Then for Silver, melee and grenade ability recharge faster. Elemental damage is increased from Guardian sources. More power ammo available. And then for Gold, health, shields, and recovery are increased. Kinetic weapons deal more damage. So there's what the suits look like on the main page when it does go live uh, April 20th through May 9th, and it's free for all players. But Gotta say, those suits, they kind of remind me of a Destiny 2 version of Sparrow Racing. And I know I'm reaching, I'm reaching, I'm reaching, I'm reaching, but I do want Sparrow Racing to come back. It's been a long time and I really enjoyed it. Anyway, moving on here. Your chance for glory. The Vanguard has secured a ceasefire with the Cabal Empress. Keitel and humanity enjoys a brief moment of respite. Eager to celebrate Guardians and lift their spirits, Zavala sounds the call to competition and the class banners are raised around the tower. The Guardian Games have returned and glory awaits. About a week ago, I did put a poll up on my community tab about who's going to win, and with 10,000 votes, yeah, 
Everyone's saying Titans are going to win again. Let me know in the comment section, either hashtag Titan, hashtag Hunter, or hashtag Warlock. Which one are you rooting for? All right, next up, the competition, heads of the class, well, head of the class. Titans dominated the last Guardian games. Ever since, Hunters and Warlocks have been preparing for the annual challenge of skill, bravery, and resolve. Earn medals from Eva Levante by completing contender cards and triumphs. Each week is a new chance to be recognized as the top class in the game. The closing ceremonies will be on May 7th through the 9th, and each weekly podium ceremony will grant Guardians with distinct gold, silver, or bronze auras. So of these new auras, I guess, which will last the rest of the week. The winning class will be recognized at the Guardian Games closing ceremonies May 7th through the 9th, complete with resplendent fireworks and a trophy displayed in the tower all year long. Now, if you did not get the air apparent last year, you can get it now this year. And actually, I bought mine from the exotic kiosk when it was there for a little bit, right when the kiosk hit. But anyway, winning in its own reward, but equipping a powerful exotic is even better. Earn the air apparent exotic machine gun and its Catalyst, an exotic sparrow, plus legendary class items, one per class, two emblems, and a pair of shaders. If you're new to Destiny 2, well, the air apparent, you can only shoot the gun when you spin it up. Uh, you need to spin it up, and then it can be fired. But then you have Army of Colossus. While you're at full health, spinning the weapon up will protect you with an arc shield. In terms of what it does when you master work it, well, it's going to increase the arc shield's durability and partially reload the magazine if it is destroyed, meaning your shield. Now let's go through the page that is up, which I will link in the description, which is the Guardian Games kind of need-to-know vital information page. Well, first off, uh, I'm going to throw some images on screen as we go through it. And uh, we've got those laurels coming back which we'll be collecting, kind of same thing as last year. And again, when you see the storage requirements, I thought it was them adding on Sparrow Racing, but I don't know, I'll, I'll tip you off right now. It says for PlayStation 5 install size, 67 gigabytes. But Sneaker Flip was like, no, well, that's the, like the size of Beyond Light once it's compressed. So I don't know if that's adding onto the game. I highly doubt it. But anyway, well, let's move into the information as I just kind of let these images uh, go in the background here. So Guardian Games is an event for all Destiny 2 players to celebrate their favorite class as they compete against one another to see whose class will reign supreme. So it's going to kick off on April 21st and on May 12th. It's a class-based competition and gain medals from Eva Levante and complete them to earn points for your class's team. Now for the medals, players can pick up medals from Eva Levante and complete them. Turning completed medals into the Tower Podium will increase your team's daily score. Then we have laurels, those little triangular pyramid-y things. Pick up laurels dropped by other players during Guardian Games to complete medals and advance your team's ranking. Laurels will drop in all activities except for Crucible and Gambit, where they will be awarded after the match has ended. Exotic Ghosts. Complete Eva's weekly exotic quest to claim one of three exotic ghosts. Complete all three weekly quests and you can get all three exotic ghosts. This ghost shell here, I don't think is one of the exotic ones. I think this is uh, probably Eververse, okay? So, moving on. The Tower Podium. During Guardian Games, the Tower Guardian Games Podium will change daily to reflect the current status of the leading team. Class flags will update throughout the day to show which team is leading gold in first place, silver in second place, and bronze in third place. And as also really cool looking sparrow actually uh there will also be a calendar showing the winner for each day throughout the event in addition to the podium players class items will also change colors daily to show their current place being gold silver or bronze now for vital information that here is listed below is vital information that players should know when participating in guardian games so players must wear their guardian games class item in order to progress any guardian games bounty Eva's daily reward packages will only be available to players who participated in that day's competition by depositing at least one medal. Daily reward packages do not stack. Eva holds at most one package for players at a time. Laurels do not drop in Gambit or Crucible, but instead are rewarded directly to players. Unrecovered laurels do not go to players postmaster and must be picked up to count. And here's where I had my Sparrow Racing scare of 67 gigs, 70 gigs, 70 gigs, 65 gigs, 69 gigs over on Steam. And I was like, oh my God, Sparrow Racing is being included, but uh, Sneaker Flip and some of the other channel members in the Discord, yeah, I think you guys are right. My scare was silly.
really. Um, I, I don't know, guys. The suits kind of, they look like spar racing suits. I'm sorry. Here they are talking to Shaxx. I don't know. I think they do. Let me know in the comment section if you think spar racing is coming back or if you would even like it to come back. But, yeah, those um, gigabyte sizes, I think, are just, yeah, you just need the game, basically, to participate in Guardian Games. It is free for all players. And that is pretty much everything we know at this point. We're going to get the full page information and also a trailer probably today or tomorrow. And the information page is probably only going to have a few extra things, which would be the Eververse things I'm imagining. And that's it. So let me know what you think in the comment section. All right, guys, leave me a good old hashtag made it to the end. If you did make it to the end, no, I, no wait, 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 I forgot. Hashtag Titan, hashtag Hunter, or hashtag Warlock. And come on, Warlocks. Let's step it up this time, okay? Let's win this, baby. All right, guys, drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. You usually know it's on YouTube, and that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir.